This is video number four of unit 3.2 about exchange rates. And in this video, I'm going to focus on fixed exchange rate systems. I'm going to describe what a fixed exchange rate system is and how it involves commitment to a single fixed rate. I'm going to distinguish between the devaluation of a currency and the revaluation. And I'm going to explain using a diagram how a fixed exchange rate is maintained. So, as mentioned earlier, a fixed exchange rate system involves a commitment by the government to a single fixed exchange rate. Basically, the value of the country's currency is pegged to the value of another currency or to the average value of a selection of currencies. The central bank in the country is the one in charge of its exchange rate policy. And what it does is it intervenes in the foreign exchange market by buying and selling currency to maintain the rate. We'll see how that goes with a diagram soon. So say for example we're looking at the market for the Chinese yuan, the Chinese currency. So on the y-axis we have the price against the US dollar and on the x-axis we have the quantity of the Chinese yuan. So there's the demand for the yuan by foreigners. Remember the demand for a country's currency comes from foreigners who want to buy goods and services from that country. Uh, uh, invest or save in that country or travel to that country and there's the supply by the citizens so let's assume there happens to be an increase in demand for the yuan because maybe more foreigners want to save and invest in China or buy Chinese products without government intervention this would cause a an appreciation of the currency its value would, would its value would rise so what the government does to maintain the fixed exchange rate is that it sells more of the currency on the foreign exchange market by doing this it's increasing the supply of the currency thus maintaining the fixed exchange rate so whenever there's an increase in the demand for the currency if the government wants to keep its value fixed it would increase the supply by essentially flooding the foreign exchange market with more of that currency and this is to prevent any appreciation and to maintain that fixed exchange rate. Here's another example. So let's assume um, it begins with the intersection of um, SY and DY and there happens to be an increase in supply by Chinese citizens, maybe because they are traveling overseas more or buying more foreign goods and services. The government would counter that with an increase in demand. How would the government do that? It would buy up any excess yuan in the foreign exchange market, thus increasing the demand for the currency and cancelling or counteracting that effect. So what if the government decides to allow the value of the currency to rise? So if the government um, actively allows the, the value of the currency to rise, we say there has been a revaluation. Remember, it's not an appreciation. We use the term appreciation only in a floating exchange rate system when um, the forces of demand and supply allow the value of the currency to rise, we say that currency has appreciated. But when it's active government involvement and an active government decision to allow the value of the currency to rise in a fixed exchange system, we use the term revaluation of the currency. Similarly, if the government decides to lower the value of the currency and actively decides and sets a policy to lower the currency, we say there has been a devaluation, not a depreciation. We use the term depreciation only in a floating exchange rate system when the value of the currency falls.